in this election. I think long term. Hey everybody, how you all doing? Hope everybody is fine, doing as well as can be. An interesting article cropped up here a few hours ago concerning Japan, so this will be a warning video for the people of Japan and in the regions surrounding Japan, and as well as the entire world, so that everyone is aware and knows. Let's read through the article together. Scientists in Japan are warning the country's famed Mount Fuji could be on the verge of a, a catastrophic eruption. The volcanologists have discovered the pressure in the volcano's magma chamber is higher than it was the last time Fuji erupted in 1707, 305 years ago. This pressure is measured in megapascals, and researchers have said that recent readings show the chamber hitting a level of 1.6. Pressure readings of 0.1 megapascals are enough to trigger an eruption. The scientists also say the March 2011 earthquake that caused a massive tsunami has been one factor in putting increased pressures on the chamber. The Japanese government estimates saying an eruption could result in more than 300,000 deaths as well as cause up to $30 billion in damage. So we need to say a lot of prayers for the people of Japan and anybody in the region around Japan as well as our own selves and like I always say for all the peoples of the world. Uh, this would be huge if that was to erupt uh, a tsunami and a giant earthquake and a volcano blowing off all inside of uh, two years. Is, is huge. But somehow, some way, hopefully this will not erupt. So since they have said the earthquake has increased, the earthquake in 2011 has increased the pressure and is one factor in increasing it, let us now see what our latest earthquakes tell us. Um, I believe the Yellowstone National Park earthquake, which was originally reported as a 3.7, I believe they're listing that at a 3.5 right now. And that is not a good thing to be going in Yellowstone National Park because uh, we got a volcano of our own. So you see a three and a half, uh, which they don't have the depth up there, 0, 0.0, in the greater LA area in California. You can see the archipelago region, 5.2, and then you get Honshu, Japan, with a four and a half. I mean, China's getting into the action themselves. 45, 48, 56, and a 56. You also have Costa Rica is still popping with a 44. The Virgin Islands are still popping. 36. Costa Rica's got another one at four and a half. Indonesia's still getting it. Four and a half. Vanuatu 46. And Chile shows a 48. And you also have another one in the San Pedro Channel in California with two and a half. Coming down to just a few hours ago into yesterday we see a 5.7 in the central east pacific rise there's El Salvador again 4.8 Puerto Rico 2.9 the Rat Islands of Alaska 2.6 Hawaii 2.9 4.8 in southern Peru 5.0 in the Philippines Indonesia 4.6 Fiji 4.9 Virgin Islands 3.6 4.4 in El Salvador, 4.7 in Philippines, Nicaragua pulls in a 4.7, the Virgin Islands 3.1, Southern Cal 2.6, Fiji 4.6, Virgin Islands 3.4, 4.9 in El Salvador, and Papua Indonesia 5.4, Chile gets another 4.5, Puerto Rico with a 2.6, Costa Rica again, 
41, 41, Virgin Islands 36, Central Alaska 3, Southern Iran is in the action with a 49, the Virgin Islands is a 38, Central Alaska 26, and then we have Indonesia again with a 53, Southern Iran with a 51, Fiji with a 4.8, and Nevada pulls a two and a half. If we drop back to the fifth, we, we already know about. 7-6 in Costa Rica and 6-0 in Santa Cruz and there's your yellow stone with a fairly shallow 7.2 depth and yes it is now 3.5 so when we look at uh, when we look at our globe this is just set for the last 24 hours we can obviously see all along the fault lines things are happening. I'm going to roll on over and just give you a good idea from watching and looking at all the regions how things are popping. Remember a while back and you've heard me say before the earth to me is kind of like a baseball. Pick up a baseball look at the seams. The fault lines of the earth follow a trail. Just like the seams of a baseball, sort of. But when you see these things, most of the time they're going to follow the lines. You're going to follow the plates and everything. And there we are on our western coast up to the Alaskans and you can see these regions over here to your right are still this would just be 24 hours popping we can go over here and there is the Honshu you see up here with the four and a half and at this moment here they are concerned with that volcano so let's pray to God they don't start getting any earthquakes because that just may parlay into increased pressure just like the article stated. You get the drift. We're not silent anymore and there is no lull right now anymore. Things are popping all over the place. So please, if you can, if you would, do some heavy prayers for these people over there. Because they have suffered in the last year. There's suffering going on all over the world with disease and famine and plague. I believe I even read uh, they had a case of bubonic plague and uh, I believe it was in a child and the child uh, fortunately has begun recovered, recovering but uh, you know they say it's in, uh, it's in the average for the amount of bubonic plagues um, I think they said uh, less than five cases, I thought they said three don't quote me on that, but I, I thought they said three so far. Um, but I, I'm definitely uh, I'm stunned that, that that we still have cropped up some cases of bubonic plague. <clears throat> it's kind of like polio. We thought we we got a, a big wipe out of that a long time ago, but apparently we still have some uh, some cases of that crop up every now and then. Here in Oklahoma I believe that I have found out that the West Nile virus cases have uh, exceeded the uh, highest amount we've ever had before. So that's another issue uh, is getting bit by little mosquito bugs and then getting sick and then uh, recuperating hopefully that there have been death. And that is uh, a serious issue there. 
because they're small. Sometimes you can't see them and then they're on you before you know. You gotta be careful somehow. Be thinking about where you're going and what you're doing and what time of the day it is and everything and be thinking ahead about if there are mosquitoes and whatever activity you're going to be doing. Take all preventive measures that you can to protect yourself and your loved ones. I wanted to get that out in case nobody had seen it. Share it with your friends. If you know people in Japan like I do, get a hold of them. If they don't know about it, they need to know about it so they can be aware. This is time to take precaution over there in Japan. It really is. Because a volcano is nothing to laugh at and blow off and think that nothing's going to happen. When you build that pressure up, something's either got to make the pressure go down or keep the pressure stable or it's got to, if it gets too high, it's going to release. And if it releases, that's a blow. If they get a blow, there's going to be carnage, damage, destruction, and death. I hate to bring you the bad news, but it is what it is. It is 2012, and we are seeing change. Some of it can go unnoticed under the untrained eye. But if you know what to look for on the signs, you can see that change is happening within the earth. It's happening in your politics. It's happening in everything. So God bless all of you. I'm glad I got friends like you. I appreciate every one of you. And I value your friendship. I send love to all of you. And I send prayers to all of you. Let's make this exponential. Not just one for one or one for two. Pray for the world and all the people. Even people that aren't Christians. Because there's a chance they can become one. And that's what we want. We don't want to lose souls. We want to protect them. And we want to help them to put the armor of God on so that they can be protected and enter into heaven. So you all be safe, you be aware, and I'll speak to you soon. God bless all of us.